Hello friend and welcome back to the Watchman on the Wall channel. This prophetic encouragement comes from Mandy Woodhouse, Brisbane, Australia. Do not stand with counterfeits. Be warned, do not unknowingly or willfully stand with a counterfeit in these days. Jesus called the crowd together with his disciples and said to them, If anyone wishes to follow me as my disciple, he must deny himself, he must set aside selfish interests, and take up his cross, expressing a willingness to endure whatever may come and follow me, believing in me, conforming to my example in living, and if need be, suffering, or perhaps dying because of faith in me. For whoever wishes to save his life in this world will eventually lose it through death. But whoever loses his life in this world for my sake and the gospels, he will save it from the consequences of sin and separation from God. For what does it benefit a man to gain the whole world with all its pleasures and forfeit his soul? For what will a man give in exchange for his soul and eternal life in God's kingdom? Mark 8, 34-37 This is from the mouth of Jesus himself. Even without the Amplified Bible's lovely explanations of the Greek, what Jesus speaks is not anecdotal, it's truth, it's for us today. People debate scripture and history and culture and sexuality, what it looks like to love as a Christian. But if you really want to drill down to the what would Jesus do, it's this. First, we must be born again, John 3.3. 3. That means regardless of how one thinks they are born, they are regenerated into his new creation. Second, you must deny yourself. You must set aside what you want, what you feel, what you think. We must fully surrender to his will for our new life. Jesus is Lord. That word means supreme authority in your life. Third, we must take up our own cross. Come what may, you will not submit to anyone or anything but Jesus. Even if you are offensive to the lukewarm heart, you must stand for truth, the truth that Jesus is. Fourth, we must simply follow him. Lean into the Holy Spirit for strength. Find his life and power at work inside of you. Let go of the world and find yourself in Christ. The kindness of his Holy Spirit leads to repentance, yes. But then Jesus brings internal spiritual transformation. The transformation in Christ. It's reconciling lost ones to the Father. That is our great commission. Yes, there is room for everyone at the table, but as ambassadors of the true king, we must be willing to point out to him as true king. We must point him as true king and show what he required if we choose to follow him. It requires everything to follow him, who you are, what you think your rights are, even your own reputation. And in exchange, we get everything we ever wanted or needed in him. Why else would the enemy want to discredit Jesus as much as he has? It's because Jesus is the only way. All the other arguments are void. Though ungodly anger and responding from offense is not God, we still cannot stand with a counterfeit Jesus. We do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against powers of darkness and principalities. See it for what it is. Every situation and global presentation that sets itself up against the knowledge of the true God, it's not just a cute show or a cultural history lesson. These are dark spirits at work that set up knowledge against him, especially now in this Kairos time. Be warned, do not become the stumbling block. Do not unknowingly or willfully stand with a counterfeit. Our victory verdict is Jesus. See Isaiah 5.20, Colossians 2.14-15, and Daniel 3.17-18 in your time with the Lord. Friend, will you pray with me into this word? Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord, that, that you give us these glimpses to, to realign our lives. Friend, I've stood with a counterfeit Jesus before. I pray, Father, that you would, you would cleanse my sin of standing with a counterfeit Jesus for sometimes accommodating another person so as not to offend. Lord, I pray in your mighty name that we would stand for Jesus, the Jesus of the Bible, the Jesus as outlined in Holy Scripture. I thank you, Lord, that you give us mercy and grace. Yes, that's great. But Lord, I pray for a boldness to stand truly for you, not a discredited version of you, not a version of you that's watered down. Lord, there are dark spirits that are setting themselves up. Friend, they're being exposed every day. How much do you know today versus, say, five years ago? My gosh, the Lord is doing a mighty work on the inside of us. 
I thank you, Father, that you give us verses like Mark 8. While hard to swallow, they are true for us today as they were when you initially said them. I pray, Father, that today, my friend and I, we don't stand for a counterfeit, but only for you, the truth. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.